Name the parts of the eye and describe their function. Here we have a cross-section diagram of a human eye with eight parts that we need to describe. So let's just go through the names to start with and then we'll describe what they do. So number one is the cornea. Okay, number two is the pupil. Number three is the eye lens. And number four, the iris. Jump up to here. Number five is the ciliary muscles. Number six over here is the optic nerve. And number seven is a blind spot. And number eight is the retina. Okay, so let's describe the function of each of these parts. The cornea is where light enters the eye. And so the cornea focuses light onto the retina. So focuses light onto the retina. Number two is the hole in the center of the eye and the size of the hole is controlled by the iris. Now the hole will let more light in or less light in depending on the lighting conditions. So we can say the pupil is a hole formed by the iris to let light in. Number three does a similar job to the cornea. It focuses light onto the retina, but as we'll see in a moment, its shape can change and so it is a variable focus lens. So the eye lens, we can say, focuses, focuses light onto the retina, just like the cornea. But we can say that it is a variable focus lens. Number four is the iris and that's the colored ring of muscle which can contract or relax to change the shape of the pupil, change the shape of the hole making it larger or smaller to let more or less light in. So here we can say that the iris is the colored ring of muscle that controls the amount of light that controls amount of light entering eye entering the eye okay number 5 the ciliary muscles now these muscles are attached to the eye lens via the suspensory ligaments and when the ciliary muscles contract it it stretches the lens and the the lens will become thinner and less powerful so the ciliary muscles contract or relax to change the thickness of the eye lens and as I say it's attached via the suspensory ligaments here. 
let's just put that in. Suspensory ligaments. Okay. Number six is the optic nerve. Now, this carries the nerve impulse information that the retina produces when light hits the retina and it channels those electrical nerve impulses to the brain. So the optic nerve carries the electrical nerve impulses to the brain. We're going to jump to number eight, the retina, and the, the retina is the coating at the back of the eye, which contains rods and cones, light sensitive cells, and those light sensitive cells convert light into electrical impulses, nerve impulses, which are then sent via the optic nerve to the brain. So the retina is made up of light sensitive cells to convert light into nerve impulses. Let's just do that. Light into electrical nerve impulses. Impulses. And finally, number seven, the blind spot is where the optic nerve goes into its uh, channel to the brain and there are no light sensitive cells in this area here. And, and so if any light hits that area, it's not really uh, detected. And so it's known as a blind spot. And so we can say there are no light sensitive cells. Okay, so these are eight important parts of the eye to remember and to understand their function.